Dear Grade 12 students, welcome to today's English lesson. This is Vocabulary 6A. Let's get started. By the end of this lesson, you're expected to be able to understand nine idioms related to sports and you're expected to be able to distinguish between 18 easily confused words in groups. Let's start today's lesson and I want you to open your books on page 84. Now take some time to read this extract and I want you to tell me the meaning of this structure. Well, what do we call such a structure? Wonderful. It is called an idiom. What is an idiom? An idiom is a group of words that go in a certain order, that go in a fixed order, and they have a certain, a particular meaning that's usually different from the meanings of each word understood on its own. So, gave it my best shot, an idiom. You're not giving something, you're not shooting at something, but it means to do something as well as you can, the best way you can. Now, can you think of any other sports idioms? Here are two examples. To jump to conclusions is taken from athletics and it means to believe something is true without having enough evidence. Another idiom that is taken from sports is to take time out. This is applicable to any sport and it means to take a short break. Moving on to exercise B, there are nine idioms and you're supposed to match the idioms to their meanings. Please pause the video to answer the questions. Well, what does the idiom no sweat mean? Wonderful. It is used to say that you can do something easily. To skate on thin ice. We don't really have skating. We don't have any ice. It is an idiom that has a different meaning than considering each word on its own. So, to skate on thin ice means, yes, to be in a risky situation, to be in a dangerous situation. To get the ball rolling means to make something start happening. If someone is keeping their head above the water, what are they trying to do? To just be able to manage, especially when you have financial problems. So if someone is keeping their head above the water, they do have some money problems, financial problems, and they're trying to make ends meet. They're trying to manage their lives. We are still working on exercise B. Pause the video and match the idioms to their meanings. Well, to go the full distance is an idiom and it means to finish something, to finish a project for example. If you're showing somebody the ropes, 
What are you doing? Wonderful. You're teaching them how something should be done. If the ball is in somebody's court, we don't really have balls. We don't have any courts. It is an idiom. It has a different meaning from the meaning of each word on its own. What does this idiom mean? Excellent. It means to be one's turn to act. So if I tell you the ball is in your court now, so what are you going to do? It's your time to take action. If somebody jumps the gun, they do something too soon before it is supposed to be done. Saved by the bell is an idiom and it means to be rescued from a tricky situation just in time. Moving on to exercise C, and it is dealing with words that can be easily confused, words that has close meanings. Before you answer part one, I want you to pause the video and read the definitions of these words. Having read the definitions of the words in the box, complete the sentences with the correct form of those words. Pause the video to answer. Well, I'm thinking of participating in a photography. What do you think? So, a photography match, game, race, or competition? Yes, a photography competition. The tennis was cancelled after my opponent was badly injured. The tennis? Yes, the tennis match. Most of the runners who took part in the had been training for a long time. Runners? Race. Wonderful. American football? Seems very interesting, but I don't understand the rules of the game. Moving on to the second set of questions. Exercise C. We have audience, fan, viewer, spectator. Pause the video and read the definitions of these words. Pause the video now and answer the questions. Well, the uploaded at the end of the performance, a magic show or something. So those watching are called? Yes, the audience. Dennis is a big of rugby. He never misses a match, so he is wonderful. He is a fan. The Olympic Games are broadcast on TV and attract billions of worldwide, so on TV. So billions of viewers. They stood on the side of the road and cheered the runners on. They are watch watching the race on the side of the road and they're called spectators. Moving on to a new set of easily confused words. We have sight, position, spot, location, and venue. Pause 
the video and read the definitions. Now pause the video to answer the questions. Well, Al Zubara is a beautiful archaeological in Qatar. It is an interesting place. It is an interesting site. From our at the top of the mountain, we could see the ocean in the distance from our yes, from our position. His favorite in the house is the armchair near the fireplace. His favorite spot place in the house. The gym is moving to a new location. The hotel is often used as a conference, a place where events take place, a conference venue. Moving on to the last set of easily confused words, we have lose, beat, fail, win, defeat. Pause the video and read the definitions of the words to be able to answer the next part of the exercise. Now I want you to pause the video and answer the questions. Well, my team has three matches in a row this season. I don't know why we're playing so badly. So my team has wonderful. My team has lost three matches. Saud is an excellent table tennis player. He always me when we play. He always beats me when we play. Jake always wanted to become a professional football player, but unfortunately he couldn't do it. He failed. Germany, the World Cup in 2014 by Argentina in the final. So Germany won the cup by, you can use either beating or defeating. Let's go through some extra practice questions. Question one, you, if you continue to eat junk food because you will eventually get sick. So junk food, you will get sick, you will be in a dangerous situation, in a risky situation. So wonderful, you will be skating on thin ice. Question two, it isn't a problem for me to cut out sugar and start using honey. Is easy to do such a thing for me, so no sweat. Question three, the cost of living has gone up so much that I can barely, I can hardly, I find it difficult to. So we have cost of living, so money problem. So I can hardly keep my head above water. Moving on to question four, I hope someone can in this new job, I really don't know where to start. So I can't do the job. I want someone to show me, to teach me. So I hope someone can show me the ropes. Question five. Tina was when her phone rang and allowed her to excuse herself from the meeting. 
So she was rescued from a tricky situation in time. And this makes saved by the bell the answer to this question. Moving on to a new set of questions. You're supposed to choose from A, B, C, or D. So for gap 1, I want you to choose A, B, C, or D. Please pause the video and answer. Well, nothing beats a banana. When tennis players stop for a break, it is common for TV channels to broadcast replays of some highlights. This means miss out on what is happening on the court. Who is missing things? Excellent! Viewers, those who watch the match on television. Those at there will notice that most of the players have something to eat during the break. Those at there where events take place, those at the venue, will see that players usually reach for their bags and take out a particular kind of fruit, a banana. So, who will see players? Who can see players? Spectators. Those who are watching the match in the court. Now, I want you to pause the video one more time to answer the questions. Well, during a long, tennis players often get so tired. So, during a long match, tennis match, that they can barely walk. Not to mention play at the high standard needed to, so they need to win. This explains why so many players are of bananas. They prefer bananas. They are fans of bananas. This fruit is perfect as it's full of the nutrients they need to help them feel more energized. So, if you really don't want to to your opponent, just reach for a banana. If you don't want to lose to your opponent. Moving on to the last set of questions in today's lesson. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. Please pause the video to answer the questions. Well, the exact of the factory is yet to be decided. So, the exact location of the factory. They won 4 nil in front of over 40,000 cheering. So, yes, spectators. We don't yet know what the will be for the ceremony, for the event, so the venue, where the event or the ceremony is to take place. The secret to public speaking is to get there on your side, so if you're speaking, there should be audience. This is the end of today's vocabulary lesson. Thanks for watching and remember, the video will be available on Microsoft Teams for you to watch at any time.